Well, welcome everybody to week three of our September online program for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center here in Powell River, BC. And this month we've been talking about the various speakers who uh, came to this international conference that Sunshine Coast uh, helped sponsor. So we talked about Dr. Todd Cashton in the first week, uh, talked about uh, Dr. Alice Patako in the second week, and this week we'll talk about uh, Dr. Paul Wong. Now, as I'm sure most of you know, Dr. Wong's theories form the basis for our work here at the Sunshine Coast Health Center. And Dr. Wong, uh, Dr. Wong doesn't like superficial things. He's always looking for like, the deepest motivations that people have in their life. And his research uh, has showed that people need certain basic things in their lives. So for example, according to his research, uh, the idea of achieving something is fundamentally important to what makes life worth living. So all of us have to achieve something. And if we don't achieve it, we're missing out on this, what he calls a basic human need. Okay. Another basic human need is having uh, uh, good, authentic relationships with other people. If we don't have that, then we will suffer. And we'll suffer through loneliness, maybe feeling we're alienated, things like that. So this, this feeling of a relationship is a, uh, is a basic human need. And Dr. Wong says in therapy, what we have to do is to address these basic human needs because underneath everything these are probably where the where the suffering is coming from there may be some superficial stuff like oh yes uh, my wife and i don't know how to communicate but dr wong is much more interested in these deeper issues and he would say well that's sort of the surface stuff of something that's much deeper for a human being and this may be this uh, fear of loneliness or this uh, uncomfortableness of feeling isolated, feeling they're different or no sense of belonging. And according to Dr. Wong, these are the issues that have to be addressed. Now here's the kicker. Nobody can give you those basic human needs. The most that we can do as therapists is simply to help point that out. It's up to you to figure out how you're gonna satisfy those basic human needs. So as I mentioned on the written part of the online program, uh, no therapist in the world can give you a relationship that's uh, intimate in the sense of a, a lover or anything, right? All we can do is help you understand and help you come to terms with that it may be this lack of relationship that's causing you suffering, but it will be your job to deal with that. So if you're feeling lonely or alienated or something, maybe one of the things you're going to have to do is take some risks and get close to somebody. And who knows what's going to happen, right? But the essential point is here to satisfy that basic human need. And it is a need, not a desire. But a basic human need to form a close attachment to other people. Or maybe uh, another basic human need that I brought up at the beginning was this sense of achievement. So for example, let's say you're in a job where you don't really feel like you're achieving anything. So how are you going to satisfy this basic human need? Perhaps if conditions are right and you can get away with it, maybe the idea would be to change jobs. And to change jobs, this might mean you have to go back to school. And going back to school, you recognize, oh, geez, I'm not getting my paycheck. Oh, God, yeah, geez, I'm really driving around this crappy car. And so, oh, God, I'm stuck with this stupid car for the next few years. Or It may f uh, force you to take some risk and to, and to face this. But Dr. Wong's big point is if you don't achieve this, uh, if you don't find this achievement, this basic human need, you are going to suffer. So somehow you have to satisfy that, right? And so part of therapy is we can help you work through this to, to discover maybe it's lack of achievement that is one of the reasons you're suffering because you haven't satisfied this basic human need. But it will be up to you 
to figure out how to how to uh, satisfy that need. Right. So these are all things that, uh, again, that I think are important in recovery. And our basic uh, point here, one of our main themes actually, is that this concept of you are the author of your life. It's going to be up to you to make decisions, to take actions that will actually make your life more satisfying. And as part of that, you're going to have to satisfy these basic human needs, which no other human being can give them, give, uh, give to you. Only you can figure this out. Right? At any rate, if you're interested, the, uh, I think I listed all seven official basic human needs in the written portion. But this is a, a way of thinking about things, right? So is it worth it to get into a new relationship? Well, are you satisfying this basic human need? Is it worth it to switch jobs? Well, are you satisfying this basic human need? Or if I'm stuck in this job because I got a pension coming up in two years and be, I'd be an idiot to quit it, okay? So now, given this situation, what do you do to achieve this basic human need of achievement, right? So, all things to think about. Anyway, that's it for this week, and we'll be back uh, next week with uh, our last uh, speaker on the uh, uh, September online program.